It's Michael Kayak Flangler. This is the third of three videos on how to build a fly fishing kayak for less than $250. Um, I previously said that I would be out on the water, which I did go. Uh, I went to Crest Lake on uh, Black Friday. Yep, Black Friday uh, up in Washington State is, um, is uh, celebrated by planting about a half a dozen lakes up there with some rather large trout. So what the heck, I decided rather than chasing deals, I would chase trout. Um, so that was the inaugural voyage of my Heritage $250 fly fishing kayak. Uh, and the good thing is, smells fishy, and I caught fish. Probably about a half a dozen, actually did really well. A um, couple other fun things that happened, uh, I, in, instead of paddling forward, which I did hook uh, a couple fish, um, I decided just to turn it around and uh, paddle backwards. Uh, I don't remember actually doing that before, but in a, a lake like that, Crest Lake is really small. It worked out exceptionally well. So, although I really do prefer the Hobies, um, the paddling backwards in an you know, inexpensive uh, fly fishing kayak is a great way to stay on the fish, especially with the lines forward, basically like in a float tube. You're able to uh, stay on the fish, catch it, and then reel it in or strip in the line and... Uh, and it works much better than uh, paddling forward, which uh, there's a video. The, the video also has a piece of that where um, the fly rod is sitting here, the line's behind me, I'm paddling forward, hook into a nice fish, and then I'm trying to uh, keep the tension on the line, and the kayak is moving, and I'm just stripping in line, and then finally the fish gives away. So that's actually the point at which I decided just to turn it around and uh, paddle backwards. Worked out really well. Uh, a little hard on the shoulders, but uh, you know if you did that all the time, I'm sure it's not going to be a big deal. Um, so it worked out really well. I was able to just to throw this thing up on my Ford Escape, uh, use the factory racks. Didn't need anything special. That that helped as well. Uh, one thing that I did do is I uh, I picked up an extension for the rod holder for the Scotty rod holder. Um, it works out well because that way it keeps the uh, rod away from uh, the, the boat a little bit further and it uh, just makes it a little easier to handle. Um, the thing that I didn't anticipate was that uh, I put the rod holder on backwards and uh, in the first the first fish I caught the rod holder comes out. So you might want to adjust that when you put on the, uh, the rod extension. Um, the seat proved to be, uh, you know, this little seat and my, uh, this is just an older molded in seat. This did well. I was out there for three and a half hours and I had no problems. I was very comfortable. And actually the, the fun thing about this is that uh, the seat is actually fairly low. So with my PFD, uh, typically and uh, what will happen is the back end of the PFD will shove up into the back of my head. In this particular case it didn't. Um, yeah, I, was, I was really pleased. And uh, the skirt, as you can see in the Crest video, um, Crest Lake video, uh, the skirt was great because it rained a lot, and I was able to just kind of shed the rain off to the side, as well as the fly line didn't get tangled up in a lot of things. Very pleased, actually, overall. It was a great day. Uh, caught some fish. Uh, the inaugural uh, voyage of the, uh, the kayak was great. Um, it paddled great forward, paddled great backwards. Uh, so, um, you know, this is, uh, I think you can pick up just about any of these uh, kayaks and pedal forward and backwards with a fly rod and you'll still be in great shape. Uh, the one thing that I did do, uh, I told you I was, I worked on the uh, paddle keeper. Um, this particular paddle keeper is nothing more than a knob uh, that you can get at Ace Hardware or whatnot. And, uh, and then I put in the bungee and it works great. You will need some foam um, to put on the paddle itself to keep the, uh, the paddle up. And so it kind of, doesn't go anywhere. Uh, the uh, the thing that didn't work out so well was the uh, the fish finder, which the fish finder worked great because it was actually able to spot some fish. But I had put in a couple pieces of foam in the back and used some really uh, just bad glue. And the first time I put the transducer in, the the foam pieces just broke apart. And so I need to go back in and actually. Uh, um, put in, use some goop or something that's more of a marine type glue. Uh, so instead, all I did is uh, I just basically tossed the transducer over the side, and as long as it didn't go real fast, it could tell the depth, and if there were fish, it marked them. 
So uh, it worked out really well. Um, overall, I'm really pleased. You know, uh, 250 bucks into this, a uh, great little kayak. Uh, I don't, I, I still, you know, hands down, I prefer the Hobies. But you know what? If you just want to get started, not sure if it's something you want to get into. It's it's a cheap way to go, inexpensive way to go. And uh, hey, you can never have too many boats. So anyway, check out Crest Lake. Uh, the video, um, and uh, it's Michael, Kayak Flangler, Go Farther, Catch More.